So these are the solutions for the Edexcel A-Level Maths Paper 1. So starting with question 1, it said given that theta is small and measured in radians, use the small angle approximations to find the approximate value of that. Well, what you've got to do here is look to the formula booklet, and you learn from the formula booklet that for small angles, sine of an angle is approximately equal to just that angle, and cos of an angle is approximately equal to 1 minus that angle squared over 2. So they're the fact that you're going to need for, the, uh, for this question, and they're in the formula book. So let's replace all of these uh, trig expressions now for the small angle equivalent. So 1 minus cos of 4 theta becomes 1 minus, then 1 minus, and the angle here is 4 theta, not theta. So it becomes 1 minus 4 theta squared over 2. And that's all over 2 theta. And times the sine of 3 theta. Well, sine theta becomes theta. So sine of 3 theta becomes 3 theta. So 2 theta times 3 theta. Which is equal to... Well, 1 take 1 is 0. And a double minus 4 theta squared over 2. 4 theta squared is 16 theta squared over 2. So 16 theta squared over 2 is 8 theta squared over 6 theta squared equals. So the theta squareds cancel to give 8 over 6, which is 4 thirds. So that's question 1. For more videos like this, subscribe to our YouTube channel and to find out more about our Skype tuition and revision courses, go to alevelmathsrevision.com.